I have Xfinity Performance Pro which is rated for 150 MB slash S down and 5 MB slash S up. I've been using the RSSB 6141 modem which is 8 channel down X for channel up, great modem, no issues, but it's speed maxed out at 120 MB slash S down and 5 MB slash S up. I figured what the heck might as well get the speed in paying for, so I purchased the Motorola SB7621 which is 24 channel down X 8 channel up. Internet speed is now 180 MB slash S down and 6 MB slash S up with a ping of 19 milliseconds. I am happy that I am now getting the speed I am paying for. Yes, the upload speed didn't change much, but that is because Xfinity does not support 8 channel up in my area. This means even though this modem supports 8 channel up it only shows 4 active up channels when you log into it, this is not the modem's fault, this is Xfinity's doing. The download channels are fine, all 24 channels show up and are active. Yes, I could have purchased a 16 channel down and 4 channel up modem and received the same current speeds, but at the time of purchase this modem was less than or the same amount as all the 16 by 4 modems. By buying this Motorola I can upgrade my internet speed down the road and still be covered. Another good thing is that this modem has the Broadcom chipset, not the Intel Puma. The modem comes with good instructions and is well packaged. Setup was a breeze. I didn't have to call Xfinity. All I did after I hooked up just the modem to my PC was navigate to Motorola. Calm which brought up the Xfinity activation page. Then just log in with your Xfinity credentials and follow the prompts. Very easy and welcomed as I didn't want to sit on the phone talking to Xfinity support. I never do reviews, but I figured this little box deserved one and hopefully this helps someone. I recently, about a month ago, purchased this modem to replace the 100 megabits per second modem provided by Spectrum. We upgraded our service to a 400 megabits per second because we have a gamer in the house plus about 14 connected devices on our YF. The MB7621 is rated to provide up to 1000 megabits per second as opposed to 100 megabits per second that the Motorola SB6141 tops out at. Every speed test I have performed since activating has delivered 375 to 395 megabits per second. The difference is remarkable. Note, with Spectrum, I had to call them up and LT them activate and register the MB7621. It took maybe 5 minutes. The Xfinity compatible modem was super easy to set up, following the quick start guide included in the box. Word of advice for Comcast slash Xfinity subscribers when stepping through the setup wizard. Selecting the option to text an activation code is a joke the code is only good for 15 minutes, but I didn't receive the text until 30 minutes had passed, just stick with your Xfinity account name for the A. Xfinity upgraded to Doxus 3. 1. And, while my own 6-year-old trusty Motorola surfboard SB6580 was working fine, Xfinity found every reason to pester me about an upgrade and how much I'm missing not having a 3. One modem, lease an upgrade. I prefer to own my own modem, so, after perusing compatible modems for my region on Xfinity's approved device page, I narrowed my choices to the Aris Surfboard SB8200, Netgear CM1000, and, this, the Motorola MB8600. All three are comparable at 1001 megabits per second, 32 down X8 up Doxus channels, and Doxus 3. 1. All the cool kids love the Aris especially after they ditched the very problematic Intel Puma chipset and went with the Broadcom's offering and for very good reasons, it has great hardware specs. 
Click on the link below to see price.